Chapter 23 Square Sweets That Look Round Everybody stopped and crowded to the door. The top half of the door was made of glass. Grandpa Joe lifted Charlie up so that he could get a better view and looking in, Charlie saw a long table and on the table there were rows and rows of small white square-shaped sweets. The sweets looked very much like square lumps, square sugar lumps, except that each of them had a funny little pink face painting, painted on one side. At the end of the table, a number of Oompa Loompas were busily painting more faces on more sweets. There you are, cried Mr Wonka. Square sweets that look round. They don't look round to me, said Mike TV. They look square, said Veruca Salt. They look completely square. But they are square, said Mr Wonka. I never said they weren't. You said they were round, said Veruca Salt. I never said anything of the sort, said Mr. Wonker. I said they looked round. But they don't look round, said Veruca Salt. They look square. They look round, insisted Mr. Wonker. They most certainly do not look round, cried Veruca Salt. Veruca, darling said Mrs. Salt. Pay no attention to Mr. Wonka. He's lying to you. My dear old fish, said Mr. Wonka, go and boil your head. How dare you speak to me like that, shouted Mrs. Salt. Oh, do shut up, said Mr. Wonka. Now watch this. He took a key from his pocket and unlocked the door and flung it open, and suddenly, at the sound of the door opening, all the rows of little square sweets looked quickly around to see who was coming in. The tiny faces actually turned towards the door and stared at Mr. Wonka. There you are, he cried triumphantly. They're looking around. There's no argument about it. They are square sweets that look around. By golly, he's right, said Grandpa Joe. Come on, said Mr. Wonka, starting off down the corridor again. On we go, we mustn't dawdle. Butterscotch and butter gin, it said on the next door they passed. Now that sounds a bit more interesting. Now that sounds a bit more interesting, said Mr. Salt, Veruca's father. Glorious stuff, said Mr. Wonka. The Oompa Loompas all adore it. It makes them tiddly. Listen, you can hear them in there now, whooping it up. Shrieks of laughter and snatches of singing could be heard coming through the closed door. They're drunk as lords, said Mr. Wonka. They're drinking butterscotch and soda. They like that best of all. Butter gin and tonic is also very popular. Follow me, please. We really mustn't keep stopping like this. He turned left. He turned right. They came to a long flight of stairs. Mr. Wonka slid down the banisters. The three children did the same. Mrs. Salt and Mrs. TV, the only women now left in the party, were getting very out of breath. Mrs. Salt was a great fat creature with short legs and she was blowing like a rhinoceros. This way, this way, cried Mr. Wonka, turning left at the bottom of the stairs. Go slower, panted Mrs. Salt. 
Impossible, said Mr. Wonka. We should never get there in time if I did. Get where? asked Veruca Salt. Never mind you, said Mr. Wonka. You just wait and see.